Let's get this party started. Good evening, everyone. I'm Laura Blyle. I'm the Director of External Engagement here at the Research Park. Welcome to our 17th Annual Research Park Intern Awards Ceremony. 17th Annual. Give yourselves a round of applause. We're going to have, this is going to be a little bit of the interactive portion of the evening. First of all, if you're not, how many of you were aware, and now you're going to be aware, but before I say this, how many of you are aware that today is actually National Intern Day? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. So anybody do anything special in your offices for National Intern Day? I saw Rivian had a post on social media. Yes. All right. So... That is a thing. I did not make that up. Um, it actually is National Intern Day. Um, and we're really fortunate to have this event fall on that day. Um, some of you were actually at our event yesterday uh, where some of our interns collected some resources for a local shelter as well as made cards for people in local hospitals. And you know what, that actually, those moments actually got picked up by our local news last night. So thanks to those of you who came out to that event and uh, you were focused as about Research Park interns giving back. And I mention that because I know that many of you in your organizations give back to the community, um, both locally as well as in other geographies all year round. So thank you for all you do, not just for your own professional development, uh, for your companies, but also for the Research Park, the University of Illinois, and the broader Champaign-Urbana community at large. So we appreciate you. Um, we're always excited to give recognition to the interns who really power the innovation that's happening here in the Research Park. So this is literally one of our favorite events of the year. But of course, we wish we could give you all awards. I'm sure you're a little bit beyond the participation award phase of your lives. How many of you got one of those, like at the YMCA or, you know, whatever it might be. So we all got those in our lives. Uh, but um, today's awards really are an opportunity to recognize some of the uh, student interns who may have gone above and beyond what their organizations perceive. Um, and are of the best of the best. But I want you all to understand that this is a very, very difficult process to get to the best of the best. And frankly, um, you know, somewhat haphazard, uh, I will admit, sometimes, although we do put a lot of time and energy into making sure that that resource happens. So if you are a finalist, just know that that in and of itself is a major, major, major accomplishment. So. Um, I want to just now, we'll do it again later to give a round of applause to all of our finalists and winners, but please give a round of applause to everyone who is nominated, frankly. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was kidding. Everyone who is nominated, thank you to all the managers who took time, both uh, local managers as well as remote managers, to take the time to nominate their interns to all of the finalists. You are all extremely accomplished. Um, the hundreds of student interns working throughout the research park this summer have used their time to make connections. We hope you will continue that. One of my favorite things that I continue to hear about the impact of the research park internship opportunity is that students are able to build networks with, with people who they may not have met otherwise in their University of Illinois journey. Maybe that's because they're graduate students or vice versa, undergraduate students and those um, populations don't always mix as well as they do here. Maybe it's different majors, different colleges, etc. So this is a really important experience for all of you. We know that the work that you are doing will impact your companies, your organizations, the startups, the corporation, possibly for months if not years to come. So. Uh, the, the work that's done here, it's funny, I still feel like, um, I can't believe I still have to explain that no interns do not get coffee or go get dry cleaning anymore. Um, they are doing truly impactful work that is meaningful and quite frankly changing the world. Um, so while we are honoring interns who are nominated, we are also want to thank uh, all the judges who helped with the deliberations of this event. So the 2024 committee included Jerry Carter, 
uh, from John Deere, Brian Good, who you'll hear from later, the talent manager at the research park, uh, Andy Miller, who's uh, the CEO of Telltale, a startup at Enterprise Works, uh, Reggie Rossi Holy, who's the human resources operations supervisor at GDM, and GDM only had been in the research park since January, so we thought, who better to take a look with fresh eyes uh, at the intern awards process than someone who's only been here for a few months. So, um, and for those of you, I'm just kind of curious, how many of you started your internships in research park companies just a few months ago? A lot of you. How many of you may have been here for a semester or more than a semester? So it's a good mix, but a lot of you, um, this is really your initial experience. So we will now announce the finalists and winners from six categories of awards. Um, when you're announced as a finalist, please come forward. Um, we are going to recognize all of you uh, with uh, certificates. Um, and then when we announce our winner, we will ask them um, if they are so inclined to make a, little, a few remarks. Without further ado, I would like to invite uh, Research Park Talent Manager Brian Good to the podium to present our first award. Brian. Before presenting the first award, I would first like to say a thank you to our own Research Park intern team. We could not execute or do anything that we do without them. Um, some of the many events, table tennis, softball league, hackathon, fire at five, professional development, these awards and so much more happen behind the scenes and it's only in part because we have such excellent and gifted interns ourselves. This team has been unique in the ability to just jump in with a smile and not complain about anything, even when we're asking them to haul out, say, 15 high tops so you guys all have something to stand by. So their enthusiasm, positive demeanor, and ability to work cooperatively has allowed our team to put together programming of quality, consistency, and scale that far exceed what our small team should be able to. They really truly do put the uh, meaning to the word small but mighty. Thank you, Jordan Butler, Abby Brown, Caroline Thies, Audrey Chang, Gazelle Selim Bidez, and Nicole Terzian. Now to business. I'm happy to present our first award, Best Technical Innovation. This award is about who has helped independently create or led a team in developing solutions that are uh, for the betterment of projects, processes, tools, and automation. They perform tasks that are self-driven, like improving cost, cost savings, improved efficiency, and will use out-of-the-box thinking to solve business problems with creative technical solutions. The first uh, finalist in this category is Shubham Moray from Synchrony. Unfortunately, he was not, oh, he made it. All right, please come. We have a few words from his manager. Shubham has demonstrated exceptional skill and dedication, ma mastering and implementing new technologies. He has gained full software lifecycle experience and architect a solution from scratch utilizing Python, MySQL, Superset, Docker, and Flask to build an end-to-end -end system by himself. He designed and built all of the functions, classes, libraries, installed the packages and everything, again, by himself. His contributions improved our technical infrastructure, leading to better efficiency, cost savings, and stronger client relationships. Let's give it up for Shubham, please. Our next finalist is Caleb Larson from ADCO. Caleb? Yeah. Here's some words from his manager. Caleb has been working on a proof of concept for a talking tractor that uses onboard generative AI to create a text-to-speech program that provides farmers with real-time critical information. He quickly put together a proof of concert and small simulator to text test his product, demonstrating high technical acumen and great communication skills. Caleb built the proof of concept on a Raspberry Pi and created a makeshift can simulator for the tractor, showing the feasibility of edge computing for Adco products. His innovative work will transform how farmers receive information about their tractors, 
his diligence, ability to manage a, t a team consisting of members from across multiple time zones, and mentorship of other interns highlight his exceptional technical and leadership abilities. Let's have a hand for Caleb. Our third finalist is Shivani Birwadkan from ADM. A few words from her manager. Shivani is an exceptional intern who has demonstrated remarkable innovation by independently developing a web application for life cycle assessment calculations using Python and JavaScript from scratch. Despite having no prior experience, her work improved process efficiency and reduced project execution time by approximately 90%, significantly streamlining operations. Shivani's proactive approach and strong relationship building earned the team's trust, adding considerable value and enabling more simultaneous projects without compromising quality. The winner for best technical innovation goes to Shivani Birwadkan. Congratulations on your award, Shivani. We'll ask all three of you to please take a picture. Well, first, we'll do a solo, and then the three of you will take a picture together. Now, I would like to invite Research Park's Assistant Director of Programming, Kathy McArthur, to present the next award. Next, next up is the award for Best Business Innovation. These interns have impacted their company through non-technical innovation. Their innovation may have entailed designing and implementing effective workflow processes, building strategic partnerships across industries, discovering new opportunities for company growth or a project of a different form. No matter the medium of their innovation, their self-motivation, creativity, and leadership push the team and company towards greater success. The first finalist for the award is Gabrielle Wilkie from State Farm. Uh, a few words from her manager. Gabrielle's internship involved developing an innovative cloud application monitoring system through a consolidated dashboard. The system enhanced our ability to manage and address production issues across multiple business applications, allowing us to focus on critical business solutions while ensuring existing ones function correctly. Given minimal instruction, Gabrielle's self-motivation and resourcefulness allowed her to complete the project efficiently, showcasing her adaptability and problem-solving skills. Her contribution significantly impacted our organization's resiliency goals by optimizing operations and reducing downtime. Gabrielle's work, strong work ethic, proactive nature, adaptability, and effective communication make her a deserving candidate for this award. She consistently demonstrated dedication, commitment, and a positive attitude, making her a valuable asset to the team and the organization. I don't believe she's here today. <laughs> Our next finalist is Yijin Wang from Synchrony. <laughs> and here's a few words from her manager. Yijin truly exemplifies what it means to be a team player, shifting her focus based on the team's needs and leveraging her technical analytical acumen across multiple projects. She developed a measurement framework for assessing the incremental dollar impact of our paid media acquisition campaigns and supported clients with campaign reporting using Adobe and SAS. Tracy also led reporting for personalization stakeholders, quickly learning tools like Dynamic Yield. Despite resource constraints, Egen ensured our team met all deliverables. Her framework addressed enterprise level gaps in measuring campaign efficacy, advancing our enterprise initiative. And the last finalist for the Best Business Innovation Award is Kushbu Chowdhury from Synchrony. <laughs> Kushbu joined our team amidst a major collections model project, demonstrating remarkable initiative and self-sufficiency. With minimal guidance, she had quickly adapted to our systems and was tasked with building a proof of concept machine learning model. Her ability to work independently has been crucial, especially during our peak deliverable period. Kushmu's contributions have set the groundwork for our team's transition from SAS to an open source Python environment. Her regular updates and demonstrations and team meetings have been educational and have already influenced our future model building approaches. Kushmu exemplifies professionalism, cheerfulness, and initiative. Her proactive approach during onboarding, particularly in resolving software and permissions issues independently, has been invaluable for our team. I am pleased to announce that the winner of the award for best innovation or best business innovation goes to Eugene Wang from Synchrony. Congratulations.
Congratulations. Our next presenter is the Enterprise Works Laboratory and Facilities Manager, Dustin Mayfield Jones. Hi, everybody. Up next is our award for the best startup intern. This award recognizes a student who's excelled in a startup environment, showcasing exceptional skills as an idea generator, decision maker, and team builder. The intern goes above and beyond their job description, helping others with a positive mindset and taking ownership for tasks from inception to completion. The contributions have significantly impacted their startup, driving innovation and fostering a collaborative team culture. Our first finalist is Zoe Zhang from Boston Bioprocess. Zoe's manager said that she has been an integral part of our pilot plant, leveraging her graduate education and prior experience to execute fermentation projects. She quickly adapted to our fast-paced culture, showing immense grit and dedication. Zoe demonstrated exceptional leadership by volunteering for late hours and weekends to meet deadlines. Her proactive approach allowed us to delegate tasks such as sampling, reactor setup, and data analysis, significantly boosting our team's efficiency. Zoe optimized shake flask volumes and benchmarked fermentators' oxygen transfer rates, providing valuable insights. Her proactive approach to personal and professional growth, combined with her dedication, resilience, and willingness to go above and beyond, makes her deserving of this award. Our next finalist is Thanushri Ambadi Srinivas from Helixon. Some words from Thanushri's manager, Kim Anderson. Thanushri Ambadi Srinivas works at Helixon USA Incorporated as a summer intern has been exceptional, <clears throat> focusing on developing precision protein therapeutics. In a few months, she became proficient in our therapeutic screening pipeline, notably running validation tests for a new screening technique using flow cytometry. Her initiative and self-directed learning allowed her to execute detailed protocols independently. The Nishri's dedication and critical interpretation results saved Helixon significant time and capital by determining the new methodology's utility. Her contributions have increased experimental efficiency, advancing our research and accelerating the identification of potential protein therapeutics. The Nishri's exceptional work ethic, leadership, and positive attitude have made her an invaluable team member. The last finalist is Luigi Silvestri Pazzarotti. Some words from Luigi's manager, Peter Zhao. Luigi has significantly contributed to Henetic's electric machine design and production through research, analysis, and hands-on work. He proposed a new epoxy resin that improves bonding in our applications by conducting a thorough literature review and identifying the most suitable properties. Luigi also enhanced workplace safety by identifying unnoticed adjustments in the vacuum impregnation process through FEA simulations and calculations. His ability to independently perform manufacturing activities has allowed other engineers to focus on different tasks, and his work has solved technical difficulties, improved safety, and created a more productive environment. His self-motivation, diligence, and innovative approach have fostered a collaborative and respectful work environment. The winner of the Best Startup Intern Award goes to Zoe Zhang from Boston Bioplus. All right, then our next award will be presented by Laura Blyle. All right, thank you, Dustin, Kathy, uh, and Brian for all you do um, in our ecosystem and um, appreciate that we have other folks to be up here. So next we are presenting the award for most outstanding undergraduate student intern. So we know from our data collection that roughly about 75% of the students who intern in the research park are undergrads. I think that reflected it a bit um, and really reflects the, the greater student body here at the University of Illinois. Uh, the Most Outstanding Undergraduate Student Intern Award recognizes an undergraduate who consistently exceeds expectations, you'll hear that quite a bit tonight, and requirements for both internal and external customers. They are respectful, trustworthy, and demonstrate a high level of integrity. Proactive in building relationships, they maintain confidence, admit, mis admit mistakes, and find common ground to encourage cooperation. They excel in both leadership and team membership roles, embodying the spirit of collaboration and respect. 
The first finalist for the Most Outstanding Undergraduate Student Award is Anshi Mather from Bayer. Manager Blake Giles says of Anshi, Anshi has proven to be an exceptional intern at Bayer, demonstrating remarkable technical and leadership skills. As a data scientist and visualization intern, she independently managed significant projects, earning the trust and respect of her team. Anshi led a confidential group uh, project involving recruiting, science outreach, and DEI effort, effectively managing conflict and keeping the project on track. Her proactive communication ensured project success and her flexibility allowed her to balance multiple requests efficiently. efficiently. Anshi's work in improving plant trait quality and developing a real-time data dashboard has significantly impacted decision-making processes across global teams, saving time and many money. Her dedication, technical acumen, and leadership have set a high standard. Our second finalist is Steve Shing from Brunswick. <laughs> Steve's manager says, uh, Steve has been instrumental in our large language model research and development, notably contributing to auto-labeling large image data sets and helping prototype solutions for patent generation. His innovative approach, including proposing a system using multiple LLM models, significantly improved our project's accuracy. Steve's efforts led to three new patents and a cost-saving auto-labeling system. Uh, so you guys can see how difficult this is, right? I mean, I've only read two, and now we're on to the third. Uh, so some amazing work that you all should be very proud of. The third finalist is Mayank Dubey. Dubey, sorry, from Rivian. Mayank's summer project at Rivian was a master stroke in accelerating mechanical design and development. He developed an innovative framework to automate PCB design exploration, previously a manual task, using self-learning Python scripts. This breakthrough streamlined the process, catalyzing rapid innovation. His scripts empower engineers to perform complex finite element analysis models, significantly boosting efficiency and minimizing errors. Despite lacking direct automotive experience, Mayank quickly absorbed new information and applied it effectively, consistently delivering noteworthy results with minimal guidance. His resilience, adaptability, and commitment to advancing despite challenges underscore his exceptional work ethic and dedication. Wow, amazing job to all of the finalists. And the winner of the most outstanding undergraduate intern award for 2024 is Mayank Dubin. Yeah! and we'll grab a photo as Misha comes up. Thanks so much. Um, I think some of the things that Laura summarized, they were directly from his uh, technical manager, so I probably couldn't say it better myself, even if I tried. Um, but Mayank, uh, you know, I've been working with interns for over seven years now, and uh, Mayank is uh, definitely someone who has stood out to me. He's highly self-motivated and a quick learner. He has impressively demonstrated his ability to absorb new information coming to our team with no prior automotive experience. Um, he consistently exceeds expectations and showcases his ability to drive forward uh, intricate projects uh, without constant oversight. So we are so proud to have Mayank on the team. Congratulations. Next, we'll present the award for Most Outstanding Graduate Student Intern. This award honors a graduate intern who consistently meets and exceeds the expectations and requirements of both internal and external customers. They demonstrate respect, inspire trust, and work with a high level of integrity. Proactive in building relationships, they maintain confidence, admit mistakes, and find common ground in to encourage cooperation. They excel in both leadership and team membership roles and showcase exceptional collaboration and respect. The first finalist is Pia Thacker from Country Financial. <laughs> Pia's manager says, Pia Thacker has exemplified outstanding leadership and organizational skills as the project manager for exploring CRN's customer data platform project at Country Financial Digital Lab. This project aims to provide a comprehensive understanding of the customer data platforms. Despite the, uh, despite the initial lack of scope and an unselected vendor, Pia coordinated research, 
created a Venn diagram to illustrate overlaps between CDP, CRM, and MDM, and set up interviews to develop an implementation roadmap. Her efforts laid a critical foundation for the Country Financial's major 2025 initiative. Additionally, Pia contributed to the DigiLab Art Pilot Program as a data science intern, showcasing her enthusiasm to not just lead, but also learn. The second finalist is Eon De Silver. Here's some words. Ian has shown exceptional dedication and commitment during his internship at Electric Power Engineers. He mastered FME data interoperability and Esri's utility network framework, optimizing, optimizing data handling and enhancing efficiency. Ian developed innovative workflow solutions for the Falcon prod, setting new standards for data handling. His clear documentation and proactive approach have been invaluable, often working beyond regular hours to ensure excellent excellence. Ian's efforts have significantly improved EPE's processes, reduced errors, and increased productivity. His leadership and collaboration have fostered a positive environment, positioning EPE for future successes. The final finalist is Muhammad Khalid. Muhammad has significantly contributed to electric power engineers through his work on transportation electrification projects. He played a key role in EV strategy and readiness planning, DOE grants for smart EV charging, and enhancing electric system resilience. He excelled in community engagement, developing surveys and conducting discussions with shareholders, ensuring EPE services blend technical and non-technical innovation. His work in Paducah, Kentucky, included creating a comprehensive EV readiness plan and providing insights for EV charger locations. His efforts have secured contracts and strengthened client relationships, benefiting his PhD research and his community. A hand for Muhammad. I'm proud to announce that the Most Outstanding Graduate Student Intern Award goes to Pia Thacker. Just to kind of add to what you already read. Um, but Pia has, had, has shown outstanding leadership skills. She pulled a project together um, that we really had no scope for. We didn't know what we were doing. And it's come together here at the end of the semester with her really organizing her team and just being an outstanding team player. So thank you, Pia. All right, so uh, we're almost at the end here, which I think is a fitting thing. We are almost, I was speaking to some of you earlier today about how uh, this summer has flown by. So how many of you remember when you walked in, you didn't really know where the bathroom was, you didn't know how to turn it on your computer or log in, you couldn't really figure out who was who, you were still learning names, right? It seemed like not that long ago and now look how far you've come this summer or however many weeks it's been since your internship so um, kudos to all of you it is a process how many of you might be continuing with your companies into the fall now raise your hands a few of you all right well we hope you'll continue um, that journey and wherever you are after this we know that this was uh, hopefully and most likely a very impactful opportunity for you. And we hope that what you've learned here, whether that's technical or non-technical or through the professional development opportunities here, that that um, stays with you and impacts your career moving into the future. Uh, so with that, we're gonna go to our final award for the evening. Uh, the history of this board is actually kind of interesting because I think it was a manager, and I don't remember who now, but who said to us, you know, these individual awards are great, but I really want to uh, nominate or bring together our teams. And really, as you can see in the sign, right, it says tech talent teams for a reason, because we know that this work doesn't happen all alone and doesn't happen in vacuums. That in fact, many of you are working on teams, sometimes multiple teams, and a team is, of course, could be two people. In some cases, it can be 12 people. And that dynamic, uh, and everything in between, but um, that dynamic 
is an interesting one and something that uh, you have to overcome conflict and also hopefully um, become competent and collaborative as this as this award suggests. So it was a great suggestion. I think this is only about the, maybe the third year that we've actually given out this award. So um, it's we're always delighted to have this and to see the how this has worked moving forward after that suggestion and who really gets nominated and we'll tell you what the criteria is. The most competent and collaborative team award goes to a team that works like a well oil machine and knows how to get the job done. Another automotive pun. Uh, yeah, Misha would have appreciated that one. Every team player contributes to the best of their knowledge and expertise. The team has a conducive environment and as a whole is accountable for a very successful project that was difficult to deliver. Uh, the first finalist for the most competent and collaborative team award is from the Brunswick Boating Intelligence Design Lab. And I see a bunch of them up, up here. And some of you may know, and I see some of you have the t-shirts to reflect it. I guess not everybody got the new t-shirts, huh? the Boating Intelligence <laughs> Design Lab. So I'm um, excited to see the new name. Um, thanks for all of you to, for coming up here. Here are some words from their manager. The CES HMI simulator team, an intern team from Brunswick Corporation, has excelled in creating an interactive, immersive simulator for prototyping the boat of the future. Using Unreal Engine, they blended computer graphics, UI UX design, data integration, and hardware development. In just eight weeks, they built a simulator where users can drive the boat and experience selected snippets in an immersive environment. And for those of you who aren't aware, they are doing this for a very public audience at the Consumer Electronics Show. Their interdisciplinary approach allowed them to develop various skill sets under the guidance of full-time employees. Their prototype showcased the leadership team, demonstrated real-time UI capabilities and modular scalable design for future boating simulations. This project adds significant value by enabling training, UI UX testing, and technology integration. So, Congrats, Brunswick Boating Intelligence Design Lab. The next finalist team is from Country Financial. And I believe so many of you are here. Here are a few words from their manager, Julia Hart. The intern team from Country Financial Digital Lab worked on the GitLab Cloud Runner project, transitioning GitLab use cases to Cloud Runners and retiring on and retiring on-prem runners. Despite not knowing each other, having private knowledge of cloud runners, they quickly connected, learned, and delivered under their project manager's leadership. They bonded over ping pong, AKA table tennis, uh, enhancing teamwork and productivity. The team must complete 10 milestones. They have finished eight. At, when she wrote this, have they done another one yet? You think they're done. Putting them on track to finish ahead of schedule. Their efforts will help analyze runner usage, define standards, and reduce maintenance costs. So congratulations to the Digital Lab intern team. And our third team finalist is from Our Glass Medical. And I believe only one of the team members is here, but there were three of them. Uh, the Hourglass Medical intern team excelled in designing and producing the next generation of smart glasses prototypes. The team of three interns from different engineering backgrounds leveraged their individual expertise in PCB design, embedded software development, and mechanical design to make significant advancements. Their open communication and collaboration, despite differing backgrounds, minimized the need for multiple iterations and accelerated the design timeline by, for, by several months. Their results, their efforts resulted in a prototype ready for real world user feedback, setting up the company for future design iterations. So how about a hand for all of our competent and collaborative so, of course, just like all the other words, a very difficult um, deliberation by the judges. And so um, we will, bef I'm going to announce the winner, then we're going to take a picture of all of you together, and then um, we're maybe going to hear from uh, the winners. So stick around, and then we will move to 
our last part of the evening, which will be dessert. So I know you're all excited about that. Our most competent and collaborative team award goes to Hourglass Medical. Congratulations. Nina Iyer, Kagan Manerian, and Sean Rader. And I know their manager, Blake Good, is here. So I'm, we're going to take some pictures first, and then we'll hear from Blake in a second. This is a huge honor. Um, very thankful uh, for this recognition. Thankful to be a part of the, the University of Illinois Research Park ecosystem here. Um, and we're just amazed at the, the level of talent um, and the engineers that um, come from the U of I, and I know there are other schools out there as well. Um, I'm, I'm speaking up here. Our intern manager uh, couldn't be here, unfortunately, due to an emergency. But I know if he was here, he would say, uh, obviously, the words, he's very, well, very impressed, overwhelmed with their technical capabilities, but just as human beings and their hearts, um, you know, as individuals is, is amazing as well. Um, and we're just, and that means a lot to us. We're a small company. Um, I'm sure all of you guys have heard of Hourglass, right? We make ancient timepieces. Maybe you've used one before. Probably not. But no, we're, we're pioneering smart wearable technologies for industrial, medical, and uh, military applications. So we're doing some high-tech stuff. Um, we're not a big team. The interns are a huge part of our team, and they truly are working on meaningful stuff that's delivering to our bottom line that is their products that we use every day to show to customers, to show to potential clients. So it's huge. There, there are three interns. There are one plus one plus one that equals like seven. So we're very thankful for it, thankful for this recognition, and thank you. Um, just to wrap things up, thank you so much. Thanks to all of the managers for all the work that you do, uh, the hiring, the recruiting, the training, everything that goes into uh, your pro building your programs. It is not unrecognized. We appreciate you. Thank you to all the students for putting yourselves out there, right? I mean, for many of you, this might be the first time you've ever worked in a professional environment, or for some of you, this is uh, you know a very different experience than what you are used to. Um, so kudos to all of you for putting yourselves out there. I just want to reiterate Brian's thanks to our, our Research Park intern team. There's only one group of students who is ineligible for these awards, and that would be our student interns. So again, give them a round of applause and want to thank our, our team as well. Sabrina for, uh, Sabrina's over there, I believe, by the desserts. So uh, getting our desserts ready for all of you as well as Kathy, Brian, thank you, Dustin, for being part of this event this evening. We hope that this was a great summer for all of you. Um, as I said, it went by really, really fast. Um, and thanks to everybody for giving it your all. And uh, we appreciate you and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thanks. <laughs>